Ever find yourself waiting anxiously for the next paycheck, wondering how you're going to make ends meet? If so, you're not alone. Many people find themselves in this situation, living paycheck to paycheck, a cycle that can often feel impossible to break. It's a common reality and it can bring a lot of stress and worry. But let me tell you something, it doesn't have to be this way. It's entirely possible to break free from this cycle, to start saving money and to build a more secure financial future. How, you might ask? Well, it's all about understanding your finances, setting realistic budgets, reducing unnecessary expenses, and slowly but surely building an emergency fund. It may sound daunting now, but with commitment, consistency, and a little bit of guidance, you can do it. Starting today, we will embark on a journey to financial freedom, one step at a time. The first step towards saving money is understanding where it comes from and where it goes. It's easy to lose track of our money. One moment we're getting paid and the next we're wondering where it all went. But it doesn't have to be this way. To gain control over our finances, we need to understand our income and expenses thoroughly. Think of your income as a river and your expenses as channels that drain water from it. The goal is to keep as much of that river flowing as possible. To do this, we need to know every channel, how much it's draining and where it's leading. Now, how do we do this? By tracking our income and expenses. It's not enough to just know that money's coming in and going out. We need to know exactly how much and where it's going to. It's the same principle as understanding the ingredients in a recipe or the steps in a dance routine. You can't master the dish or the dance without knowing the details. There are many ways to track your income and expenses. You could use budgeting apps which are convenient and automatically categorize your expenses. Or you could go old school and write everything down. The method isn't as important as the act of tracking itself. But here's the thing, tracking your expenses requires honesty. It's crucial to be truthful about your spending habits. If you buy a latte every day, write it down. If you splooge on a new outfit, write it down. You might be surprised at how quickly these little expenses add up. Don't think of this as a punishment or a chore. Think of it as a step towards financial freedom by understanding your income and expenses. You're not just seeing where your money goes, you're seeing where it can go. You're seeing your potential for saving, for investment, for financial growth. So start tracking your income and expenses today. Be honest, be thorough and be consistent. Once you know where your money is going, you can start to control it. Now that you understand your income and expenses, it's time to set a realistic budget. This is an important step in your financial journey as it allows you to take control of your money rather than letting it control you. Firstly, consider your needs. These are the things you absolutely cannot live without, such as housing, food, utilities and healthcare. Your needs should always be the first thing you budget for. Once you have a clear idea of how much you need to allocate to these essential items, you can then consider your wants. Wants are things that enhance your life but aren't essential for survival. This could include eating out, entertainment and vacations. While it's important to enjoy life, these are areas where you could potentially cut back if you're trying to save money. Remember, it's about balance. You don't have to eliminate all of your wants, but being mindful of them can help you stay within your budget. Next, let's not forget about savings. 
Even if you're living paycheck to paycheck, it's crucial to set aside a small portion of your income for savings. This may seem daunting, especially if you're already struggling to make ends meet, but even a small amount can add up over time. This is your safety net, your peace of mind and your future. Now, how do you put all of this together? Start by listing all of your income and expenses. Then allocate money to your needs first, followed by your wants and finally your savings. Keep in mind, this is not a one-time task. Your budget should be reviewed and adjusted regularly to reflect any changes in your financial situation. Setting a budget might seem intimidating at first, but remember, it's not about restricting yourself. It's about making a plan for your money so you can live comfortably, enjoy life, and still save for the future. And most importantly, be realistic. Don't set a budget that's too tight or unrealistic as this could lead to frustration and failure. Instead, set a budget that allows for flexibility while still helping you achieve your financial goals. Remember, a budget is not a restriction, but a plan for your money. So take the reins of your financial journey and start budgeting today. With our budget set, let's focus on reducing expenses. We all love that morning latte, the thrill of a new purchase or the convenience of a subscription service. However, these seemingly small expenses can add up over time, leaving us wondering where our hard-earned money has gone. Now, let's take a moment to discuss various ways to pare down these costs. First up, subscriptions. Do you find yourself subscribed to multiple streaming services, fitness apps, or monthly box subscriptions that you barely use? It might be time to reconsider. Cancelling unnecessary subscriptions can free up a surprising amount of your monthly budget. Remember, every little bit counts when we're aiming for financial freedom. Next, let's talk about dining out. It's a common misconception that cooking at home is time consuming and expensive. In reality, preparing meals at home can be a fun, rewarding experience that also saves you a significant amount of money. So why not embrace your inner chef and try some home cooked meals? Then there's shopping. We all need to shop whether it's for groceries, clothing, or other necessities, but we can do it smarter. Consider buying in bulk for items you use often or choose store brands over name brands when the quality is comparable. Look for sales, use coupons, and don't be afraid to buy secondhand for certain items. There's no shame in being a savvy shopper. Another important point is to avoid impulsive purchases. It's easy to be swayed by attractive deals or the latest trends, but it's crucial to ask yourself if you really need the item in question. If not, it's better to leave it on the shelf. Remember, these changes don't have to be drastic. Even small adjustments can lead to significant savings over time. It's all about making conscious choices and understanding the value of your hard earned money. So let's start cutting costs today. Let's start making small changes that will make a big difference. Let's start valuing every dollar because after all, every dollar saved is a dollar earned. Having savings for emergencies is crucial. Let's talk about how to build an emergency fund. This fund is like a financial safety net designed to cover unexpected expenses that can turn your world upside down. Think of it as a cushion, a buffer between you and life's little surprises like car repairs, medical bills, or even job loss. So why is an emergency fund essential? Well, without one, these unexpected costs can lead to debt, 
stress and financial instability. Having a reserve of funds can give you peace of mind, knowing you can handle these curveballs without derailing your financial journey. Now you may be wondering, how do I start building this fund? Especially when living paycheck to paycheck. It might seem daunting, but remember, every grand journey begins with a single step. Start small. Even setting aside $5 a week can make a difference over time. The key is consistency, make it a habit. You could set up an automatic transfer to your savings account every payday. Before you know it, you'll have a growing emergency fund. Think of it as paying future you and how much should you aim for. A good rule of thumb is to have enough to cover three to six months of living expenses. But don't let that number intimidate you. It's a goal, not a starting line. Remember, it's okay to start small. If $5 a week is all you can spare right now, that's okay. Over time, as you adjust your budget and reduce expenses, you may be able to save more. And finally, keep this fund for emergencies only. It's not a vacation fund or a new gadget fund. It's a safety net designed to catch you when life throws. You are coverable. Building an emergency fund takes time and patience, but the sense of security it provides is worth every penny. An emergency fund provides a safety net and peace of mind. Saving money isn't a one-time event, it's a lifestyle. And like any lifestyle change, it calls for commitment and consistency. We've laid out the steps, but the journey is yours to make. Staying committed to your budgeting and saving plan is crucial. It's like staying on a diet. You don't see results immediately, but with time, your financial health improves. Set financial goals, both short and long term. Want to go on a vacation? Save up for it. Dream of owning a house? Start putting money away. These goals will keep you motivated. Celebrate small victories. If you've stuck to your budget for a month, give yourself a pat on the back. If you've managed to save an extra hundred dollars, that's a win. These small moments of success will keep you going, keep you committed to the path of financial freedom. Remember, financial freedom isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. Stay consistent, stay committed, keep saving.